मॉड्यूल टू फॉर्मूला अ फॉर्मूला जनरली इज अ कंसाइज वे ऑफ एक्सप्रेसिंग इंफॉर्मेशन सिम्बोलॉजिकली एज इन मैथमेटिकल फॉर्म और इट्स अ जनरल कंस्ट्रक्ट ऑफ अ रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन गिवेन क्वान्टिटीज सो इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू एड अ फॉर्मूला टू द सेल्स इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट प्रोजेक्ट टू थाउजेंड टेन and in order to supplement that we would also be learning how to add columns based on the types such as text duration or number in microsoft project 2010 so let's start with so this was the project continued from the previous module that is module number 1 data entry and basic formatting so we'll be working further with the same file now if you see over here we had entered predecessor over there that is in the gantt view we had added a predecessor but what you see over here is a successor you don't need to worry at all you can just right click over here along this one you can go on to insert column you can just type p so we can get a list of uh, things starting with p and click on predecessors so this is how the predecessor can be brought back now i think we don't need a successor so i would right click on it and click on hide column to hide that column we also don't need resource name as this moment at this moment so hide the column so now we have add a new column option over here so we can click on over here on the drop down menu and it has many of the inbuilt columns so if you want to dis know the total slack so we can just write t O T. So here it is. Total slack. So we just need to click select the total slack, and it would display the total slack values in this column. So we can see, as we had already know knew, that the bars with the red color are critical. So the slack would be zero. So this is how we can get it. Now suppose, if we want to further add another column known as free slack. So F double F R double E slack. Okay. so here it is free slack now after directly adding total slack and free slack now you might be knowing the formula for interfering slack which is total slack minus free slack now if we go on to the add columns and write interfering slack it doesn't appear so now the question is how to bring that thing into microsoft project 2010 as it doesn't have it as an inbuilt function you need not to worry at all so the first thing you need to know is you have this column and this column in the form of duration now the question is how can you know you can see over here zero days eight days one day zero days seven days so the days means it's a duration so you can click over here now we want to add a column based on duration so you can just type d you get too many options see duration 1 10 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so these are some of the blank duration attributes provided over here so we would be selecting say duration 1 yes so now we got a column which has all the values 0 and in which we need to enter the value so you can do is subtract 8 minus 1 which is 7 and type it over here but that's the donkey labor work we are not going to do that so just right click over here and go to customize field so the very first thing we are going to do is to change the name to duration 1 to interfering slack and press okay so the name is changed you can see over here now again go and right click over here and go to custom fields so in custom field you can see we have an option custom attributes that is lookup formula and none currently none is selected now go on and select formula press okay and then again go to the formula so basically we have this box in which just like a sort of calculator in which we can put up the values and formula and we can finally get the answer so you can see over here that is we have added formula interfering slack equals to equals to now we need to select the field so our field is fill duration in which we have a total slack as we discussed earlier 
it display it is displayed in days so it's a part of duration so we went over to duration and we can find total slack select the type of mathematical operator you want as per the formula of interfering slow slack it's total slack minus free slack so i would again go to field duration free slack and press ok so just see over here what happens in this part ok ok and make sure that you have selected this bubble over here and you have entered the formula and press ok so you can see over here it's done it's 0 minus 0 is 0 8 minus 1 is 7 7 minus 0 is 0 7 minus 7 is 0 so this is how we can use the formulas so this is not just the single way in the form of interfering slack where we can use a formula it can be used for any type of data whether it be duration or numbers or any other mathematical operation you want to do in microsoft project 2010 so this is all about slack and working with formulas in this module